Hey, welcome to Hack Week number 45. This is the Mini Hydroponics Strawberry Farm. Just started this today and it was inspired by my girlfriend who wants to do a project like this for the community college she works for as part of their education program in the mobile launch pad. So here it is, the one I put together and it's got a bubbler in it. It oxygenates the water. The blue stuff is fertilizer and the fertilizer is a, a really nice high nutrient mix with all the minor elements and stuff in it so the plants can uptake that from the water because they can't usually do that from just water alone um, the soil is a big big player in all that stuff so when you try to do hydroponics it's a little tricky because you're kind of mimicking what would be there in the soil but you have to put it in the water so you want to look for nutrients that are high in all three Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Right, let's take a look at all this stuff laid out here and you'll see what you will need to do your own hydroponic setup at home. First, you need to have a tub to put the water in with a lid on it. And uh, I got this one for about $7 at the hardware store. And we're doing the aeroponics thing, so we're bubbling the water, right? We need a source for air, an aquarium pump. Get one of these at the pet store. This one was about $15. Uh, I got some airline to go with that. The air stones will go on the bottom of the tank. They look like this. They'll make all the bubbles. We need to anchor those in place. So we got some of these little suction cup thingies to put the hose through. And I can anchor the two of them in place and then to make sure they stay really there once I get them set where I want, I just use some silicone to glue them to the bottom. And I picked up a couple other things that you really should have on a system with an air pump going into water, a check valve for sure, so that you don't have it accidentally siphoned back out. Just in case I wanted to play around with some different plumbing, I got a, a T fitting to go on there. Uh, let's see, a pH meter or pH strips, but the meter is really neat because you can just poke it in the water, get an instant rating. You can also use this on dirt, plants, you know, etc. your garden, and no batteries required. You just poke the probe into the soil and boom, you've got a reading of your pH. What else? Um, oh yeah, the uh, cups, like about a four inch cup. These are just paint mixing cups. I'm gonna cut them off about here, cut a circle in the top, four of them, insert that into that circle, and around it all, I'm gonna put some of this deer netting stuff. So I'll make like a little net out of the deer netting, and that will hold my growth medium and a little bit of the dirt from the strawberry plant. Leave a little bit of that in there. And the water level will be as such so that just the roots dangle in the water and pick up the nutrients. They wanna flood the whole thing and turn it into mud. and want a little bit of airspace in there and the roots just touching the water. So now we will get started cutting holes in the top of this first and building our little hydroponic setup. Let's go. All right, well, first step, we need to cut these cups down, so I'm just gonna use a razor knife. And I wanna cut about maybe an inch down from the top of this lip right here. What do you think, Sophie, is that about right? All right, let's do that. We can just use the lines and eyeball it around here to make sure we stay where we're supposed to be. There we go. There's one. Three more to go. All the rings are cut and it's time to make the holes in the lid. And I don't want them to be bigger than this lip. So I took one of the bottoms that I cut off and I'm gonna use that as my template, make sure that it's not warped too badly. And uh, just take the little Sharpie and mark them out. One. All four cut, all four fit great. All right, next step. Here's the ring, all cut, ready to go. And duct tape, we need some duct tape. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. You need a roll of duct tape. 
Here's the piece of deer netting and I cut four pieces out of the chunk I had to probably about a couple square feet each. I'm going to fold this in half just to get a little bit more of a you know filtering effect. That way it'll hold back the growth medium but let the uh, roots go through just fine. That's pretty much all you're after is something that roots can penetrate. And now once it's folded in half, just put it over um, a water glass, uh, seven inches tall, something like that. Drape it down over that and just kind of hold it in place. Take the ring and slide it down. What we're after is we're going to make a, a little pocket here for the plant to sit in. So push it down about that far where you've got maybe four inches of this netting below the level of here. And this will be the top of the uh, tub. So four to five inches at the most. And just let that sit like that. Grab a short piece of split duct tape. Just split it to about an inch wide. And get a piece about two or three inches long. And get started by just taping one section at a time like this. It's a little easier than trying to do one big strip at once. Okay, just squeeze that a little bit, pull it off, and there you go. You've got a net ready to set into the plastic lid. So if we just kind of wiggle that down in there, give it a little push past the tape. Once it's in, this will also help hold the netting in, and there we go. We've got nice netting for the plant. Okay, three holes to go. Here we go, last one in place. All four nets are there, waiting for plants. But first, we've got plumbing to do down here. Take a tour of the plumbing that we just did. Got the pump mounted on top, comes through here, runs down separately into each bubbler. So there's a bubbler there and one there. And they're held in place with these uh, little suction cups for now. I'm going to take some silicone and put a little dab of that right on the end of this bubbler and one on the end of this bubbler and a couple on the other points where it's anchored and just help them stay in place a little bit better. All gooped up and ready to go. Let's get some water in this here hydroponic tank. Well, here we are with the fertilizer, the all purpose 2020 20 water soluble plant food. And just about like all other plant food, it's blue. It's all pretty blue. So keep it away from the kitties and the animals. And it comes with uh, its own little cool measuring device. So I've already cut this bag corner open. I'm going to scoop some into my container here which is partially filled. Uh, after doing a little reading of the stuff that came with it and kind of just making a gut judgment on it, I'm going to go with about a hefty quarter of a teaspoon of this stuff per gallon that up and that's where we're going to start out with this whole project about that concentration which should be plenty and uh, fill that tub up and start growing some strawberries fill up with the water solution now I think it's about eight gallons and we should check the pH because this is a different mix than tap water so let's see what we got here it's a little closer to 6.6 6.5 6.6 so that's good 
a little closer to our mid-range. Let's get some plants in these pots. Well, here's the strawberry plants with their uh, biodegradable bottom on them that you know will fall apart with time and go into the soil. But I really want to get that off from there right now and and have this whole root system free to dangle into the hydroponic solution. So I'm going to cut away all this stuff on the outside. I got some scissors here to get this plastic bit off. And as we peel that away, we're going to see if there's a root structure right there ready to be loosened up a little bit so that it can get into the water. So let's get all this stuff off and we'll do a rinse in the water. Don't want to break it up too much, but I'm going to just shake it around in the water there a little bit. Submerse it up to the root level or to the stem level. And then just bring it back up. And that's it. We're going to use it just like that. Okay, we need growth, growth medium. You need growth medium in these cups. There's all kinds of things you can use. Uh, clay balls are are pretty popular. There's foam little bits that can go in there. I'm kind of thinking toward more the organic, whatever you can find out there, because that's mimicking nature a little more. So I've got some bark from longleaf pine in my backyard. I've read that bark can be used, so I'm going to throw a little of that in these two pots. We'll kind of have a little experiment here in this whole thing. See which one of the uh, the growth mediums makes the plant happier. Bark in these two, and I've got a plant ready to put in there. A couple of plants actually for each container. I've taken most of the soil away, as you can see, shook quite a bit of it out. So we're just going to put those down in there. Try to get a, two of the bark are planted. Get some pine straw in these two and plant uh, the other two in there. See how that works out. We just kind of bird nest this stuff in there. Just a little bit of it in each hole. Look everyone, bubbles. We have bubbles in the tank. And the water circulating nicely, getting oxygenated with all those nutrients. Every one of the little net pots I made has uh, about an inch of exposure in the water and the roots will work their way down through there to get all those, those highly oxygenated nutrients from that water. Yummy. So there it is. And the plants on the top, I'll probably put a grow light uh, on this and put it out in the back room here in my house. It's kind of a converted garage area, family room, where it's uh, far away from everything because it's kind of noisy. Pumps a little bit loud. But hey, there it is. The mini hydroponic, aeroponic, strawberry farm. Till next time, when hopefully we'll see some blossoms and strawberries happening. Keep on hacking.